Hey, what's up guys? I want to do a quick video today on uh, how to measure for your belt. If you've got sort of a one-off setup like I do, uh, this tip's going to help you. All right, the first thing I wanted to do is uh, kind of give you an up-to-date on uh, kind of what's going on here. So uh, I had a relay go out, which I did a video on that. Apparently, when that relay went off, I think the fan started cutting on and off, screwed my air compressor clutch up. It burnt that. I can actually see where the paint just heated up on the front of the clutch. And I blew a belt because that clutch ended up, you know, locking up through a belt and then took out some other wires with it. So, man, for just a little relay, it just caused havoc. So, I went ahead, instead of ordering a new pulley and clutch that you can put on an existing compressor, that was 100 bucks. I said, shit, it's only like $200 uh, for a new one, and I went ahead and got this one here. You can see the black one. I already pulled the silver one off. This is gonna be the one that's going on the car. However, it's not, because for some reason, you can hear that drag. They did not spec it out where there's supposed to be a gap here. And so that's rubbing. So I cannot win with compressors, apparently. Uh, this is just ludicrous. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's kind of catching you up to speed on the car. Um, it's in the garage now. It, obviously, when you don't have a belt, you don't really have anything. Uh, so the one thing that I'm working on now is I just took my compressor off and I put a pulley on, on one of the uh, bolts there and I just bought a longer bolt. So uh, hopefully I can run this in the interim, but I wanted to give you a tip on how to measure for a belt. So uh, essentially what you do is you get yourself one of these, uh, and I'll put a link to it on Amazon, Taylor's Tape. And you just run it around exactly where the belt will go. You can see it here. I got around the alternator, down through the power steering pump, uh, down around the uh, ZL1 pulley. Try to line it up as best you can. And what I do is I normally just tape it somewhere until I get it all the way around. And then uh, once you do that, you just kind of get it, kind of get it tight here. And you can see in this case, it's 85 you in here so it's right on 85 pull that tight um, now that's without the tensioner so uh, you know once you sort of factor in the tensioner there uh, it may be a half inch or an inch or so so uh, normally what I do is I take that measurement and I buy two sizes uh, around that uh, when I go to uh, I normally just go up to advance auto get two sizes around that and then take one back now uh, so that's pretty straightforward that's gonna now that's gonna be the inside of the belt dimension so if you already have a belt you're sort of like measuring uh, don't measure from the outside of that belt measure from the inside of it um, so obviously that's been some wow great now that thing's still spinning out but I did put a rag down there anyway uh, I just took the compressor off so I guess that's to be expected uh, so I'm kind of working on this uh, I want to get this thing running in the interim uh, the good thing is the company that I bought the compressor from they're shipping me one ASAP to replace it and they'll give me a return shipping label so it should be pretty easy however this is uh, 4th of July weekend I wanted to run it I'm supposed to meet a buddy of mine to do a photo shoot on Sunday we're gonna hang out so the car's not running. I'm not doing any of that. Um, then you can see I have some experience with belts here. <laughs> I got a problem with belts. And these are just the ones that I didn't throw away. Um, I got a, a spare one in the hatch. Uh, but these are just kind of through the, 
through the few years that I've done the LS swap, I've had a few different configurations with a uh, first had an R4 compressor, then I changed to a Sandin. And then recently I put these LSA brackets on it. Um, and so that's what these two bolts, these two belts here are for. They're an eight rib, very long. And that's gonna be uh, when I put the blower on, the pulley's gonna be here. So that it needs to be a little bit longer to wrap around the AC and everything. So it's an eight rib set up with this bracket set up on the Dirty Dingo. Uh, I'm still waiting for the compressor to come in, so I'm just running it right off the idler. So hopefully that's going to last me a couple days until it's probably going to be middle of next week. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to kind of car and uh, have some fun with it this weekend uh, otherwise I, it's just gonna be stuck so that's kind of where we're at I wanted to give you a, just a quick update on that uh, and I thought it would be helpful on uh, on trying to measure your belt if you've got a custom belt uh, it was certainly uh, something that I've been dealing with I, I've cut old belts and try to route them and so forth no just get you uh, a tailor's you know for clothing measuring uh tape if you will and uh man it you'll be right on the money for the most part so hope that hope that helps guys and uh see you next time if this was helpful please like and uh leave a comment below on how you would do this uh and as always if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell thanks guys